Does everybody know what time it is? Tool time! That's right, Ben for Tools is proud to present... Space Rogue. That's right, it's Tool Time again. Usually we discuss software tools here on Tool Time, but this week we have an interesting new hardware tool. UberTooth One is an open source Bluetooth testing tool. Only problem is you can't actually get one yet. The developer, Michael Osman, is attempting to fund development of the project via Kickstarter and still needs a few more backers before production can begin. A low-cost Bluetooth analyzer is definitely a needed tool in the industry. Not to mention it sounds like a hell of a lot of fun. We have the link to the Kickstarter page at hackernews.com. Now that we're done with the hardware, let's look at software. Our toolbox is full this week, so let's start with the updates. NoScript, NetBIOS Share Scanner, and Packet Fence have all been updated by their respective authors, as have ProcDump, Contig, and TCP View from our friends at SysInternals. Okay, now on to the new stuff. There are a lot of new tools we'd like to tell you about this week. Let's start with some bug hunting tools. NPE File Analyzer version 1.0.0.0.0.0.0.0 has been released. Whatever happened to plain old 1.0? Anyway, it claims to allow users to view and edit PE files. NPE provides functions for inspection of unknown binaries, supporting analysis of sections, resources, import-export tables, relocations, TLS table, and more. It can even analyze running processes and loaded modules. It's up at the vulnerability database. PY OLE Scanner version 1.3 contains a bug fix, more shell code detection, more API detection, SQL light support, OLE2 macro scan, and support for Office 2007. Sounds like it's just getting to a point that's worth a look -see. It's up at xchg.info. Haven't really heard of them before, but it's Python, so be sure to check the code before you go and fire it off, okay? An interesting direction has been taken by Veracode recently with their freeware as a service, claiming that developers no longer have any excuse for releasing code with cross-site scripting vulnerabilities in it. Upload your Java application and get back a free, detailed report with location and remedy information. On the one hand, we'd point out that you have to trust Veracode with the Java application to do this, but on the other hand, if you aren't already cross-site scripting free, let's hope you're not writing anything sensitive enough to be concerned about trusting Veracode with it. <laughs> okay, what's next? How about some pen tester updates? Knock version 1.4.4 is a Python script designed to enumerate subdomains on a target domain through a word list. That should save someone a few hours. It's up at the vulnerability database. WS Attacker version 1.0, oh, there it is, is a modular framework for web services pen testing. It provides a free all-in-one interface for a small battery of web services security checks. It's up at SourceForge. Uh, see previous story. ICAT version 3 is out. Version 3 is Citrix and Windows 7 certified. It runs on Linux and OS 10 and is designed to help security test kiosks and lock down desktop environments like Citrix. You can get it at icat.hack.net. Ah, uh, Nmap. Version 5.5 .5 is now out. I guess Nmap picked up a scripting engine last summer. Can't say I noticed, but wow, there is up to 177 CAN scripts and 54 NSE libraries. The NSE now supports all sorts of protocols, so looks like Amap and stuff is about to become obsolete. We also have a link to the video about NSE up on the comments section of this episode at hackernews.com. Okay, that's a lot of tools, but we still have a few more for you this week. Season Pass is a simple jailbreak tool for second generation Apple TV. This version now has support for XBMC download sources, wireless networking bug fixes, and an improved jailbreak and restore process. Web browsers traces eraser version 1.2.0.0.0.0.0 has been released. It will analyze your system for internet traces and automatically put a check in the trace present in the left panel. Click the button clean to erase selected traces. Seems to support Safari, Avant, Chrome, IE, Firefox, Opera, and a few others. Check it out at the vulnerability database. And finally, NIELD is a network interface events logging daemon. This is a dot one release, but under Linux, it is possible to receive notifications from the kernel related to link state, neighboring cache, IP address, route, and fib rule changes. Cool. Get it at the vulnerability database. Phew, that's it for this week's Tool Time. We hope you enjoyed this supersized edition. Join us next week for our salute to Tool Time.